Costa here with Faith Not Sight Ministry, and today I want to share my experience with prosthetic eyes. Okay, so in 2014, they took out both of my eyes. In October, they took out my right eye, and in November, my left eye. Four months later, I got my prosthetic eyes. And ever since, I've had good and not so good experiences. So some of the bad experiences that I've had is secretions. You get a lot of secretions with prosthetic eyes. When it's dry weather, when you're working out, I encourage you, never clean your eyes with cloth because it gets whitish and then it also irritates your skin more. Just use very soft Kleenex without lotion. Um, one of the things that I don't like about cleaning my eyes though, and even when you're rubbing your eyes, is that sometimes your eyes will rotate. So one will be looking like forward and then the other one will be looking like that way, which is kind of uncomfortable because you never notice it. Sometimes you do if it feels really uncomfortable from the inside, but sometimes you don't really notice it. And that's the bad thing. Like some people don't feel comfortable telling you. And if they don't trust telling you, it's like you won't even know until probably you run into a family member and it's probably been like five six seven hours you don't even notice right so that can be kind of weird and strange sometimes sometimes they will tell you but even they'll feel weird so if somebody does tell you your eyes are rotated be like hey you know what thanks thanks for letting me know you know because not everybody's willing to let you know uh oh another thing that i i i've noticed in my experience is that when you clean your eyes okay when your skin gets irritated, the more you touch it, the more irritated it's going to get and the more it burns. So just be careful with that, right? Be wise. When I got my prosthetic, guys, this is one of the cool parts is that you get to choose your eye color. Guess what color I wanted? I wanted blue. I wanted green. But my family was like, no, don't do that. And then I was praying about it. I was like, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. And I got my mom's colored eyes. I told the doctor, you know what, doctor? I want my mom's eyes because I made my mom watch a lot of suffering and cry a lot. But now I want her to rejoice. I want her to enjoy. I want her to see lives change and transform. And now I have my mom's, my mom's eyes colored. I used to have about the same. Mine were a little bit more clear, more greenish but they were about the same basically maybe a little more hazel but about the same um another thing i like about prosthetic eyes is conversation starters some people are like no there's no way they look too real which is pretty good right that's a good thing they need to look real some people think like no nah, i don't know i don't really believe you're blind but i'm like yeah i am look they're both prosthetic they're both plastic they're actually made of denture plastic what they make to make dentures um that's what they use they don't use glass because glass scratches very easily and if they fall which has only happened maybe once or twice to me they break easily so you know um Ah, yeah, so when you choose your eye color, you know, it's pretty cool and when you get to start conversations with people Man, I start so many conversations with other people that I've never met and I probably would have never been able to meet if it weren't for having prosthetic eyes So that's a pretty good thing and I don't take it for granted So like if you're planning to get prosthetic eyes anytime soon embrace it enjoy it, you know Ask questions you never know what questions other people may have and you might have answers So if you have any questions about prosthetic eyes, let me know in the comments down below or even message me don't worry it's very confidential i feel more than glad to be able to help out with anything that i can so if anything just remember may god bless you all and may you walk by faith and not by sight